at the next iOS release, 4.2. 4.2 is going to come a little later this year, and it's all about iPad. It's bringing everything to iPad. iOS 4.1, with its multitasking, its folders, Game Center, HDR photos, everything you saw here, all of it to iPad. Wireless printing. We're adding wireless printing to iOS. And, and we're adding something really cool called AirPlay, which we'll talk about a little later today. So let me give you a, a little feel for uh, printing. Um, so let's say we're in pages on the iPad and we want to print. And we push the tools button here with our finger. And we get up our tools and we see there's print now. And we push print. And we get to select our printer. We get the number of pages. Very, very simple. And we can just say print. Now, again, select a printer for the front office. So we're going ahead and we're printing. Whenever we're printing, down below, if we bring up the multitasking bar, we see that it's put print center right in the front and shown us how many jobs are printing, in this case, one. And we can go examine it. We can even cancel it if we want to. So that gives you a feel for how simple printing is going to be in iOS, and it's very powerful. Now, what is AirPlay? Well, you know what AirTunes is. It's streaming music over Wi-Fi to an Airport Express base station so you can listen to music all over your house from your mobile device. Well, we're changing the name of AirTunes to AirPlay because it's not just going to be music anymore. You're going to be able to stream audio, but also video and photos over Wi-Fi to other devices, and we'll get into that a little bit later. So let me just give you a brief demo of iOS 4.2 running on an iPad. I've got my iPad here. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, just go ahead and swipe over here and let me launch Pandora. And uh, I've got some Jack Johnson music here. Let's go ahead and play that. And let me bring up the multitasking bar. There it is. And let's go to mail. So we're multitasking here, listening to Pandora in the background. And there's mail. We've got uh, multi-threaded mail here. So again, two messages from Gary Dunn. And uh, here's one talking about a Gibson West Montgomery guitar. So let's go take a look at that. Now we've multitasked over to uh, the browser. And here we are on the web. Right, again, we can just go over here and stop and start our music. Very, very simple. So let me show you uh, folders now. Um, let's go ahead and make a folder with our news apps. So I can just uh, get into jiggle mode here, and I'll just put NPR on top of Wall Street Journal, and it's made a folder called News right here which I could rename if I want to. And I'll go ahead and put the Financial Times in there and put Editor's Choice in there. And I can even put this down on my dock if I want to. And now I've got a news folder uh, right there with my news apps in it, right on my iPad. So all of us that use iPhones uh, know and love all these features. And uh, we love them. And we can't wait to get them on our iPad. So. When is 4.2 coming out? It's coming out in November. And it's going to be a free update for iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch with all those new features in it. And so we couldn't be happier about the progress of iOS. 120 million devices, 200 and over 230,000 activations of new iOS devices per day and two new releases of iOS, one coming out next week, the other coming out in November. And we're really, really happy with iOS. So that's the iOS update.